here's my um, Lynx Jewel Amp 25 watt DC converter. Um, basically in the middle there you see a air core coil. I got four seven and a half watt LED bulbs. Here's my little 12 volt battery. And here's a solar panel, 12 volt. It's a 60 watt solar panel. It's actually in the shade, but it's putting out almost uh, almost 18 volts. So we'll hook this up. There's the four LEDs running. We'll try six LEDs now. Anyway, I don't know how many of these uh, LEDs we can run. I've got six total right now. That's all I've got. All right, I put the solar panel in the sun. It's morning, so the the sun angle isn't perfect. Definitely cranking up on the battery. It's ticking up fast. So we'll go ahead and hook this up again. See if we can maintain a battery voltage. All right, we're hooked back up, and the solar panel can't quite charge bulbs. So we're ticking down. Anyway, let's look at amp draw on this many bulbs. All right, so amp draw is two and a half amps. And we've got 45 watts of bulbs lit up. So two and a half amps times uh, 12 is uh, 24 plus 6, 30, 30 watts running into these bulbs. And this solar panel is capable of supplying 4 amps. It's a 60 watt panel. Anyway, it's a pretty simple little uh, DC converter. These LED, LED bulbs are very efficient. Okay, so this is a, uh, a typical 12 volt 110 inverter. I wanted to show you what the power draw is on just one of these LED bulbs. I'll screw it in. There we go. And we are at 1.4 amps to light that 7.5 watt bulb. So, just as a comparison, you can see that. I mean, that is a whole lot more power.